Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Nahim, back to watch more Bleach, here to watch episode 348. Almost done, guys. I can't believe it. It's been a long journey. Like, I don't know how many episodes I've seen, but it's been good. We're down to the fucking end of it. We'll see where it ends up going right now. Uh, you know, we met Ginjo. We realized that Ichigo can possibly get his powers back, which is a huge fucking deal, let me tell you. Uh, as where as it'll end up, I don't know. We shall see. Let's just keep moving along with it. Thank you all for watching me, man. I appreciate you. I love you. Uh, you guys know all the announcements. Comment, like, subscribe with the bell for notifications. I'm currently accessing this will be on Patreon YouTube memberships. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. You guys are all the best. Uh, all the support on Patreon has been mind-blowing. Thank you again. Let's just, just keep going. Yuzu, it's midnight. So you going to bed? No, but you should. I've got stuff to do. Like what, for instance? It doesn't matter. <clears throat> but you can't stay awake all night waiting for Ichigo. I'll stay up and handle him. I'm telling you to go to bed because you have to cook in the morning and go to school. My staying up's got nothing to do with Ichigo. You think all I do is worry about him. Oh, wow. You're both still up. Get to bed or you'll never wake up for school tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Go on. <sighs> sure. <laughs> Good night, Ichigo. This guy's still playing his PSP. And she's got great assets. I have been doing everything that you asked me to do. You want your Soul Reaper powers back, don't you? That's why I've shown up here. I thought by now we'd be starting some kind of training type thing at a much bigger place than this. What makes you think you have the right to be such a smartass and speak to me in that manner all of the time? Well, I bet it's because you think you can get away with saying whatever you want just because we have a guest here. I have never, ever, then or now, thought of you and myself as equals. Sorry, I missed that. Could you say that again? Ouch. That's the best way to swerve. What are you just standing there for? Get over here so I can tell you about this. Fine, sure. Are you gonna tell me about it by yelling at me? Wait! Stop right there! That's just fine. Don't you come another inch closer! Hey, make up your mind. Mm-hmm. Dollhouse is where you will be doing your training. What? Is he like shrinking in that thing? Is he gonna like not like Zoolander, but how what? do you fit all these people Don't in that school? It's so I'll small. show you it soon. My full bring power is called Dollhouse. Okay. You see, my special ability is that I'm able to move people or things into and out of objects that I love or I think are cute. Uh... That heart is your past. What are you? Okay, into the dollhouse he goes. Damn, what the hell just happened? You're in a dollhouse mm -hmm. with a pig. You're kidding. Yeah, exactly, you're kidding, right? I'm saying defeat him by fighting him. That's your training. That's He's okay. Strong, you <laughs> okay. If you can use full bring, that is. What? Damn. How pathetic. Fight him. <laughs> What? She just explained that's her power. I told you that's the power of my full bring. You don't listen sometimes, bro. Full bring. I think it's about time for you to defeat him. Good luck. Why are you freaking out so much in there? It's simple. Stop complaining and just do as you're told, whiner. Yeah. You don't want to get killed, do you? Oh, you suck. Help me out! At least give me a clue here! It's insane for you to expect me to use Fulbring without even giving me a hint about how to use it! A hint? Oh. That's enough already, kid! Huh? Stop your running away and start fighting right now! Come on! Huh? That thing can talk! Wait, that thing is talking? For real, what the fuck? Of course it talks! <laughs> Inside of Mr. Pork is this big scary dude that I abducted from this neighborhood. Wait, you abducted who? What? From where? Was he bad? And did I just hear you say that this thing's name is Mr. Pork? Listen, if I don't beat you to death within 15 minutes, she told me that this spell I'm under will become permanent, and I'll be stuck here for the rest of my life as a ridiculous... That is so fucking terrifying. Because you told him a lie? Let me kill you already! What a terrifying task on both... I mean, on his side, it's like, hey, dude, I have to, like, now rip you to shreds. She acts like some mean old witch. Yeah, she does. Straight up, mean old witch. She said it's the ability to draw out the maximum power from something a person loves. 
But it didn't seem to me like Ginjo loves that pendant he wears. If I had to describe how he feels about it, I'd say it was more he was attached to it. Which means I need an object that I feel as attached to as he does. There's got to be something like that for me. Your Soul Reaper pendant thingy? Does that work? Thank you so much for doing the shopping, Mr. Chan. Sure. What's that? That's your buddy in there. Uh, this is crazy. You didn't already start with his full brain training, did you? Well, of course I got him started. Don't tell me you're criticizing my methods, too. <laughs> Let me kill you! Think. There's got to be something. Uh, Ichigo figure it out. You have to learn how to use Fulbring in order to survive this fight, Ichigo, so your combat pass is the only chance Did his voice got. change? Thanks, Chad. I was just having the same exact thought. Since use of Fulbring was not detected within the 15 minutes allotted, Crazy Beast Mode will now be activated. What's that? Please, don't do it! <laughs> yeah, this is fucked up what she's doing to this guy. Unless he's like a criminal or something like that, I feel bad for this guy. What the hell's this? That's a scary pork monster. Again, poor guy. <laughs> like, for real. Like, poor guy. <laughs> it's like stuck in that outfit. Hey! You didn't tell me he was gonna become that hideous! Just what were you thinking, Giriko? You were the one who requested my assistance in the training of Mr. Ichigo, Miss Rivuka, and I did as you asked. That's true, but... You didn't have to make it so ugly. There must have been other ways you could have chosen. Let Ichigo out of this box right now. Yeah, his voice definitely no, changed, bro. It sounds like deeper and fat. If the organism inside can survive for 30 minutes, then said organism will be allowed to exit the box. 30 minutes. Clear? If you were to do that, the God of Time will seek retribution. Jeez. God of Time. Now there's a God of Time? That this is the first mention that I've made of it. Yeah, for... All objects being timed will be immediately burned away by the flame of time until there is no trace left of the offending objects. Jeez. You're lying. Well, you can choose to believe me or not. They're just stuck now, right? <laughs> and fuck. If either Mr. Ichigo or Mr. Pork are removed from the box by anyone before another 15 minutes have elapsed, all three objects involved by that I mean Mr. Pork, Mr. Ichigo, and the box will be completely consumed by the flame. Ichigo time. got this. That you see is my full brain. Time tells no lies. Jeez. Deactivate it. You can't. Impossible. <clears throat> Once time tells no lies is set, even myself, who controls its power, cannot undo its time parameters. Damn. Don't ever take time so lightly. Meddling with time is a frightening proposition that certainly should be avoided at all costs. Uh, yeah. Time is money, bro. Ah, a wonderful smell. Jeez, this Gone guy is da he's dangerous. Is in exact time. Good thing Ichigo's, Ichigo's been around the block, man. He, he knows what he's doing to a certain extent. I feel like. Ooh. Nail them. Now get out your little soul reaper thing. Figure that out, bro. I need to manifest this full brain thing using my combat pass. But how do I do it? Good luck. Damn. How am I gonna do that? How? Use your pride! When I first used Brazo Derecho del Gigante, I had pride in my heart. A whole lot of it. The material that forms the basis for my full brain is the skin that I have on both of my arms. Your skin? My appearance, the size of my sick. body, those things caused me a lot of rough times in my life. But I never lost the pride I had in my skin's color or in that myself. That is fucking amazing, bro. I was bro. able to be proud because of my abuelo. Mm -hmm. He's the one who gave me the strength to always have pride in myself. Hell yeah. Chad is the man. I mean, bro, you took out a lot of motherfuckers and you took them out really well when you were a Soul Reaper dog. Like, you were nasty. Just think about just every, everybody that you fucking had to s slice through and, and kill, dude. Oh, yeah, that shit is so sick. Fuck, that's so sick. He, he loved it. He loved being a soul reaper, bro. He just loved it.
What the fuck is that? Okay. All right. My interest is starting to peak a little bit, you know. I am, you know, I, I'm, shit. It's, it's, it's starting. I was a little bit skeptical. I'm so skeptical about these last few episodes, you know. Uh, so basically, what I'm understanding, he's always had these full ring powers because of his ability to become a soul reaper. I'm guessing that was like still stayed behind him. Uh, but my question now is, is he gonna be strong? Like, did he already reach his peak when he was like? you know, final gets to contend show, Soul Reaper, or, like, is he going to a different, is he, is, is he becoming something different now, or, like, is this a different ability, different power scheme, and schematics and whatnot, like, is this Soul Reaper ability is completely gone, and now he's going to take on the full brain abilities that he's going to acquire here soon, it's one of my bigger questions that I've been worried about, you know, because, like, I think full brain is, like, what we are working with right now, with all these different characters, uh, Especially, you know, uh, Riruka and Ginjo and everybody. Um, is that, is this a new category of fighting? We're gonna have to, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what, because, you know, w there was, firstly, it was like, you know, it was Reapers or Roncars and fucking Hollows and shit. Like, what, I know those guys are still in the mix, but like, what do these guys bring to the table? You know, we saw what the Visors did, you know, we've seen all that. But it's like a whole different category of fighters. Let's see. Uh, I thought the whole uh, being in the dollhouse was pretty hilarious. The pork, Mr. Pork, is pretty funny. I didn't expect that out of Mr. Pork, though. I'm just becoming a gargantuan fucking super mega pig. It's hilarious. It's looking like fucking uh, Bebop. Well, no. Yeah, I think it's Bebop from uh, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Bebop was, yeah, Be Bebop was a pig, right? I'm correct. It's Rock City and Bebop. Rock City is a rhino. But... Either way, good stuff. Great episode so far. I'm really intrigued. Uh, Chad is always watching the back. Chad's little speech at the end about it. The color of his skin was beautiful. I love that shit. That was nice. Uh, but yeah, man, let's, let's see more of it. Thank you all for watching with me. I appreciate you. I love you. Like I always say, please take care of yourself and your family. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.